before Americans return to work. A new law in Colorado getting the attention attention of companies and job seekers nationwide. It's the Equal Pay for Equal Work Act, and part of that requires employers to post an estimated salary. We're taking a deep dive into this only on News 5 at 4. Why would you go after a job if the salary is not right for you? Whether you're on the job hunt or not, Colorado's Equal Pay for Equal Work Act is catching people's eyes. It was, it was interesting. They would put like, oh, we're paying X amount starting and then X amount off of experience. In 2019, lawmakers passed a bill to make some changes in the hiring process and reduce pay differences between men and women. It has requirements that pay has to be disclosed because it's harder to discriminate or have disparities in pay when pay isn't secret. It adds for more competition. That's what we need, right? More competition. Fast forward to 2021, a section of the law is in effect, which requires employers to post a salary range in job postings. And not even a year into the law, the state is seeing some impacts. I was like, if they're, this company is willing to pay me and be honest, why can't you guys post it? There are things that people sometimes in good faith think are loopholes that aren't. Some remote jobs are excluding Coloradans from job postings, but it's something the state says regardless if the job is remote, they can't opt out of the requirement. And this is actually not a loophole because the act says that all employers must post all jobs. There's no exception for remote jobs. For the most part, the state says companies are complying. They've found fewer than 1% of jobs aren't posting salaries. But if you're searching for jobs, this is what you need to look out for on a job listing. Employers need to include compensation. This can be a rate or a range. Companies can pay more or less than the posted range depending on the circumstances, but it needs to be realistic to the job. An example the state uses is a posting couldn't have a range of 30,000 to 100,000 if they're both used for different janitor and accountant jobs when the intent is for one position to be on the high end and the other to be on the low end. And that job listing needs to have a description of benefits the employer is offering. Think health care and paid time off. Labor law violations in the world are hard to find. Labor law violations in public job postings are really easy to find. So we're contacting all the employers with these postings to say, Hey. Some groups have been against this law, arguing it limits applicant pools and competition among employers. Seven months into the law, the state is focusing on educating companies, but if they later find companies continuing not to comply, the law does allow for fines to be issued. These could range anywhere from $500 to $10,000. Really fascinating stuff, especially yeah. right now with the job market mm -hmm. and really seeing how the different applicant pools change for certain companies. Right. Uh, I've heard from some people saying, you know, it's been impressive because now we know that these people are willing to work for this pay versus going through that process and then and then finding out that you're not going to take that job. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. as they've already gone through the whole interview process right. there as well. Now, if you do happen to come across a job posting and you don't see a salary range for it, you can submit a complaint through the Department of Labor and Employment's website. And that does